like to a household too full of internal conflict for me to have any opportunity or desire to really accept Jesus and to walk with God. Because our family would dispute over everything. It's my father and mother are basically polar opposites in everything they do. And then this com combined with the COVID-19 period made me feel really discontent and purposeless with life. So I fell into many different worldly sins in the form of like lust-filled relationships, pride, hate, and was plagued by extreme levels of depression and stress as well. So in November of 2022, my father took me to church, which I'm very thankful for. And where two missionaries, Jeremy and Kara, were preaching youth group. And though I was, although originally like really doubtful and disbelieving, I saw something in the satisfaction and joy that radiated from their family. Um, I wish I saw in mine. So, and over the next eight months, my interest in understanding Christianity grew, but I was still stuck in the cycle of sin. It wasn't enough. Until June of 2023, where I signed up for the annual mission trip to Glean to the Hungry, because I was dating someone who was also going. Uh, and then for the first time, I was away from the competitiveness and sometimes toxicity of my ordinary life. And while doing hard labor, I could feel a sense of satisfaction that, uh, and contentment that I really haven't felt before. However, I believe that this is because I was spending time with her that God didn't really have anything to do with me. So the spiritual high I got from missions disappeared a week after me. Until February of 2024, which is this year, I signed up for what to do treat, just like Joanna. I wanted to break in dealing with the hopelessness at home. Um, and this youth retreat actually ended up being the complete turning point for my faith. Because I saw an incredible level of community and dedication to God, especially during worship at Winter Retreat. And for the first time, I was completely sure that God was speaking to us. After my one-on-one -on -one with Vincent, I dedicated myself to reading and annotating the Bible every day, and as I truly wanted to know why I felt such a high sense of satisfaction without any of the things I would normally need to feel joy with, like my sports. And the last day of retreat of February 19, 2024, I truly gave myself up to Jesus. And in prayer, I told him, I realized I could not solve any of my problems, no matter how hard I tried. I could not get away from any of the obstacles that stood in my way. And I truly needed the help of Jesus to maintain the security I had gained from my church, as I was genuinely afraid of returning to the cruelty. Little would I know, God answered my prayer and gave me a hundredfold of what I asked. The spiritual high that I got from winter youth retreat just did not leave. Feeling of contentment and security followed me to school, to my sports like track and field, and to home life. My problems started to not affect me nearly as much as they did before, even though they became objectively worse than they were before. I had got to talk to you always, and every time I put my faith in him, it felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. I now truly understood what it meant for him to bear my sins on his cross. As I finally accepted Jesus fully as my savior through faith, I felt complete. I started to think, I started to think about every one of my actions in God's eyes, and through the priceless help of mentors in my life, such as Eric and Vincent, I slowly and steadily completed my firm foundation of faith. After hearing the testimonies I made up this year, I was sure that I wanted to be baptized as soon as possible so that I would have some experience in helping other people come to Jesus, where I personally know how God saved me and transformed me within the span of these two years. Furthermore, I have also began preparing to create a begin began preparing to create a school Christian club dubbed Active Faith with Ethan here, centered on how we as students should approach our daily walk with God through missions and communal discussions. Thank you.